So moving forward with the, um, with the safety council, I've got um, the three men in black. Yes. <laughs> Aaron, Earl, and Jimmy. And I'm going to turn it over to, uh, I guess, to Aaron first. Thanks. On behalf of the uh, Trekking Safety Council of BC, I'm really pleased to be here and uh, really happy that you came here to support us. As you know, we have just re recently released our three new brands here, our three icons for our industries that we're serving, uh, the owner-operator population, the small business population, and our large employer populations. Earl and Jimmy, in a few moments, are going to talk a little bit about the safety advisory services and our new launch with that and the availability of them. Uh, but first, I'd like to talk a little bit about CORE, but better yet, I'd like to show you a video that we recently finished producing this year. Every day, the safety-driven team at TSCBC aims to improve safety in the truck and transportation industry. The Safety Driven Team at TSCBC offers the Certification of Recognition Program, CORE, a voluntary safety accreditation program for employers in BC. Companies who achieve CORE are demonstrating a commitment to workplace health and safety. Implementing CORE in your company means safer, happier and healthier workers a more productive and efficient operation. Comprehensive management systems in occupational health and safety. And a competitive business that follows best industry practices. Registering for CORE is free. The Occupational Health and Safety CORE certification can be earned upon confirmation of a prescribed audit. Employers in good standing can receive a financial rebate up to 10% of WorkSafe BC insurance premiums. It is calculated from the base rate and received in the year following core certification. Certification lasts up to three years. Perform annual maintenance audits and see additional savings made over time. For example, if your reported payroll was $2 million and your CU base rate was $5.62, your incentive payment would be $11,240. The minimum annual rebate for achieving and or maintaining one of the core certifications is the lesser of $500 or 50% of the premiums paid by the employer for the rebate year being calculated. This ensures a financial incentive to participate in the program is possible for even the smallest employers. The Safety Driven Team can help you strengthen safety performance, reduce injuries, fatalities and improve your team's health by supplying general advice on your safety needs, gap analysis, mentorship and training. Have your organization make a strong statement today by promoting positive safety culture and prevention awareness. Contact TSCBC today at 604-888-2242 or phone us at our toll-free number. You can also learn more about CORE and how you can register by visiting our website, safetydriven.ca. The video certainly saves me talking a lot. It describes a little bit about the program and some of the rewards that you can earn from it. But it certainly doesn't capture all the hurdles that companies face when they come into the CORE program. Not only do they have to send employees for training, but they have to conduct an external audit for the large ones, and then every year after that, they need to do internal audits. Constantly, they're faced with challenges of improving their program and needing, meeting new best practices and standards. I'd like to take just a few moments to recognize the core companies that are certified by the Tracking Safety Council to date. DC Chambers Group. If you're here, please, I'd like to give you applause. Please stand and be applauded. Anyone from DC Chambers here? No? Oh, I think they left early, maybe. 
Clark, Reefer Lines, where are you? Yeah, there you are. Canadian Freightways, one of our earlier cores. Dynamic. Canpar. TST Overland Express. Van Hoo Coffee. And extra kudos go for sponsoring the event and providing with us coffee. Salt Spring Freight Services, which is also a division of Bandcam. Tenhold, one of our earlier core certified companies as well. <coughs> Expecting a big round of applause for T Lane. Excellent. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Pure later. <laughs> Langley Freight Lines, also a division of DC Chambers. Coastal Pacific Express, or CPX as we know them. <laughs> BNC Trucking. Uh, such special note for these guys, these are our very first small employers that have been certified through the Trucking Safety Council, so kudos are deserved for them. Aero Transportation Services. <laughs> Last but not least, Air North, Yukon's Airline. Nice. Thanks for coming, guys. So you may have heard already earlier in the beginning of the AGM, uh, we do have a couple new things that we just come up with. To recognize, these are all of the companies, but to recognize all you companies, you're going to be the first to receive our new core stickers. We hope that these stickers will find their way onto your trucks, maybe on your Air North Airlines, to the, the Yukon or other areas of your company. You are required to maintain your certification to be using these certificates. And if at the end of this uh, conference, if you wish to come see me, I'm happy to give you, provide you with a, a few copies for you to use right now. <laughs> Many of you being large employers, you have large staffs of uh, owner operators, dependent or independent contractors working for you. We recently released our Owner Operator Core program, which really consists of 12 questions and a four hour training class. We're looking to make this very accessible and we hope that uh, you as large as employers will help support us in uh, getting the safety program out there and helping in improving uh, owner operator trucking uh, companies in BC. Thank you. And I guess that means I'm up next here. If I can make this work, the Safety Advisory Service, uh, a little bit about us. We are the supporting service to CORE. What our whole purpose is, is to make sure you succeed. And we have all sorts of tools that will, that will work with that. We have, of course, the helpline. That's open to anybody. That helpline, if you've got a question, member or not, give us a call. We'll see if we can help. We'll get you an answer. We have our mentorship service. Now, the mentorship service. That's where we will give you some continuing, ongoing support moving forward. The idea, again, is we can't replace a full-time safety person right on site working. But, you know, there's lots of good, qualified people right out in this room all over the, all over the province. They just need a little bit of a hand here and there. That's what we're for. We'll guide you forward. We'll hopefully get you right up to where you can do the gap analysis. Shows exactly where you are relative to the audit for CORE, and you get a, a full-on successful completion. So the safety helpline, you have direct contact with a safety advisor. You'll be talking to myself, you'll be talking to Jimmy. One of us will get an answer for you wherever we have to go, however deep we have to go. The answers are confidential. Now please remember, this is something that I've seen so many times. You've got good people out there, and they know they should be asking a question, but if they go talk to those WorkSafe guys, they're going to come and inspect me, right? Or CVSE, I'll get a ticket. You know, and we know it's not really like, like that, on the one hand, but 
we're always afraid. There's just that little bit of fear and we hesitate instead of actually getting the information. Okay, this is a way you can get that information and nobody knows who it's for, except me. And I don't tell anybody that. But I get you the good answers. You get the answers and you have good answers, good information in front of professionals, you're gonna get a professional job. That's what we're looking for. And it is free. That's the best possible price, a toll free line. You don't even pay for the phone call. If you're looking at mentorship, this is, I will point out, a membership service. So this is a, a service where we would require you to be a member. But the support, as it says, non-judgmental. We're not there to say, oh my God, you should be right on a business. We're there to say, this is not right, let's fix it. Here's how. So we're here to help you succeed. We want to also get good answers spread around this industry. There are so many innovative ideas out there and we're working with it in a local, just in a local basis, local knowledge, when it could be helping other outfits. I'm not talking industry secrets here, I'm just talking about good, solid practices that work. And if we can help share those around, we all benefit. We also provide training, it might be one-to-one, -one. you need somebody who needs a little extra help with something, or it could be a small classroom, it could be done online. Maybe we'll even do uh, a, an instructor-led online course through Webinex or one of the online services. There's many ways we can deliver that education. The gap analysis, it's on site. And it looks at your safety management system relative to the core audit. The assessment, it relies on two things. We're gonna come in, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk to you for a few minutes. We're going to go through some paperwork. And yes, I will admit, we're asking you to, to tell us, this is not working or we have a problem here. In other words, you're gonna show me where you've got the dirty laundry hidden. We'll try to figure out, how do we fix this? That's what it's all about. What is it that's not quite right that we can make better? Where can we improve? And how can we help you do it? You get a report, and most importantly, you get an action plan that's accompanying that. The action plan is maybe one of the most important things because we've all been faced with that job that is so immense and you don't really understand it to begin with and you're looking at it and you say where do I start how do I do this an action plan is just basically a list of here's the things we said that should probably be improved start with number one and then number two and so on in other words we've got it prioritized for you we've taken a lot of that I don't know what to do out of this and then of course the mentorship will help even help you further. That's our safety advisory service, and it's got all kinds of support. I'm gonna let Jimmy tell you about that. Okay, so the safety advisory service, that's supported by, yeah, it's supported by the toolkit, which you can find online. Um, it's got a whole bunch of resources available. Um, I'm gonna go into detail here about each of them. Uh, and the Learning Academy as well, too. Uh, a lot of the companies have gotten core already, uh, know the courses that you've already taken. Uh, they're found in the Learning Academy. Uh, there's also several other courses there, too, for, uh, for further education on health and safety. Uh, so some of the toolkit items that we do have are videos. Uh, videos are a great way of demonstrating some specific safety issues in a workplace. Uh, some of the ones that we already have right now are manual uh, handling videos um, and how to fill out forms. Um, there's a whole bunch more to other safety con concepts too and, and more being developed as we go along. Um, also have templates and forms. Uh, these can be used by any player um, that's developing or improving their safety program. Um, and some of the things include driver evaluation, incident investigation, and job safety analysis. Uh, we also have uh, posters, which is a great way of keeping awareness at your work site. Um, workers being reminded about health and safety issues is you know, a good way of keeping it on top of their mind uh, of about what they should be doing and what they should be careful of. Uh, so some of the things that we have is fatigue, uh, working alone, and also many more. 
Um, we also have intera interactive tools. Um, so for things like tarping safety, uh, can you find all the hazards? Uh, these kind of tools uh, make it more interesting, learning some of the safety issues out there. Uh, getting involved with it is a little bit more interesting than just reading about it or watching a video about it. Uh, it's great for in the classroom type setting, um, get more workers involved with it. Uh, toolkit availability, uh, it's, it's designed right now for large employers and small employers. Uh, we're also adding more things in there for owner operators. Uh, if you actually take a look at the website, you'll find some of the resources there are already up for owner operators, uh, including the large and small employers. Um, it's available right now in English and pretty soon it'll be in Punjabi too. Um, <clears throat> And a lot of the, the items in the toolkit, uh, they're based on uh, feedback that we get from truckers out there and companies out there. Uh, so we're constantly developing more. Um, you know, we're getting phone calls about what do we do about this? Or, you know, we have an issue with, with the regulations. We don't understand this. So we'll either give them reference to, to some sites that, that would give them the, the guidelines and that sort of thing. Um, or um, if there's enough inquiries about it, we'll actually develop it ourselves um, and provide, provide them with something. And going back to Roll here, um, looking forward. So basically, looking forward, where are we going to go from here? You know, we've got a whole bunch of videos we're working on this year. We're trying to be converting those to podcasts. We've got courses we're developing, some from last year, some moving forward. Uh, they will all be in an e-learning format, so they'll be available online. These are the sorts of things that you can resource right there, right at home. And we're trying to make them available in a format that a driver on the road, if he's got a few minutes while he's ordered lunch, he could sit there and actually start doing a course. You know, he could spend five or ten minutes waiting for his hamburger. Oh, actually, oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, it wouldn't be a hamburger, would it? <laughs> his salad. <laughs> and you would end up with the ability to actually move your information or your knowledge forward uh, at a convenient rate. All of these things are scheduled for conversion to Punjabi as well. Expanding the toolkit, again, we need your help. If you see an issue, if you see something that hasn't been addressed, give us a call. We want to know. We don't have all the answers, but we can find them if you tell us what the problem is. And we are going to be at all sorts of promotions and events. Uh, you've seen our safety-driven tractor trailer down the end there. That's our intention to take that out and attract drivers in droves because now they've got something to come and talk to us about. And of course, we are scheduled. Our, it's, uh, I th it, it's actually a very rigorous schedule that has been set for us. But we're going to try for 30 gap analysis this year, as well as continuing mentorship. So it's a very, very full year for us. But one thing I do have to ask for is your help. Everybody here. We cannot help anybody if we don't know about them or if they don't know about us. So pass the word out. We're here. We're here to help. Phone us. If you have a question, we're always available to answer that question. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. So please, with your help, we're going to continue moving forward. And I believe we've moved on to our next section. We have two items. Okay, we're, we're coming up to the moment you've all been waiting for. The, uh, the drive. It would actually, pick up the truck, hold it, make sure everybody sees it there. The drive, or the, the draw for the, the Rustler uh, toy car. But before we get there, there's, uh, there's two things. Uh, one is I, I'm supposed to do a reminder to the um, uh, Board of Governors. Uh, it's five minutes or ten minutes after adjournment here. You guys are meeting what's downstairs in the sportsman's player's corner. Sounds like a, like a lounge, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So I reminded you of that, and they all disappear. It's, it's not to have a drink. They're going to work. Uh, second item that I have to um, um, bring up before we, we uh, move on to the, the very final item is to point out that uh, a conference like this doesn't just happen. We all got up at 5 o'clock this morning, but we didn't get up at 5 o'clock this morning and then come down here, and, and this all sort of fell into place. There was uh, a considerable amount of work that was done in advance, and... Um, I have very strange tastes. I go to opera. One of the neat things about opera is at the end, the cast comes out and there's a, there's a group bow, and I think it would be appropriate that we did that now. 
Um, start with Aaron, who actually bravely took on the role of, of, of actually coordinating the, um, um, the conference and, and, and looking after assigning the details to other people. So Aaron, would you come down and... No, no, not behind me. You stand out in front. Uh, the, you, the, the public humiliation is going to be complete by the time we're done here. Um, we also need to acknowledge Lisa, who you know, took the phone calls and um, you know, did logistics, made the calls, um, helped people when they were stressed out. We have the workhorses. We've got Earl and Jimmy. Would you horses please come out here? Uh, guys who put up the, the stand over there. And John, you don't get away from this. Get up. Come to the front of the room. No, no, no. no. John. John, get up. Rick, Rick, give him a poke. But here's the, the guy that gave him the leadership to do it. So I want you all to join hands, take a bow. Yeah.